it's been punctuated throughout history uh, where countries that grow together with their economies and with their product lines, uh, they have a tendency to be peaceful. They have a tendency to be worthy of each other and rely on each other. I can't tell you how many trade missions I've been on. I've been on a lot of them. I've been on every continent and uh, in uh, every hemisphere. In my career, the last 12 years that I spent with the J.R. Simplot Company, I, I was the president of Simplot International and uh, ran the international division. So in 1986, when I won the lieutenant governorship and became the lieutenant governor in 1987, in his first state of the state message, Governor Andrus said that he knew the talents of his lieutenant governor and he was going to use them. And what he was talking about was obviously finding marketplace shelf space for all of uh, Idaho's products, just like I had done for Simplot. And so under Governor Andrus, under Governor Batt, and under Governor Kempthorne, um, one of my jobs was to expand the world marketplace for Idaho's products. I think the trade missions, especially with Governor Otter and his Project 60, have, have increased the awareness of, of foreign investment and foreign investors to Idaho. And it's impossible for businesses and, and existing agricultural bases that we have here to meet that goal and that objective without the foreign investment and without the foreign markets. The world is thirsty, not only for our products, but for our technology. And the fact that we were able to attract this last time I was over there, uh, quite a bit of interest in reverse investment in Idaho. Now, what that means is Chinese money coming back to the United States uh, instead of products uh, going over to China and being manufactured over there and then shipped back into the United States. They actually want to make products uh, in the state of Idaho. Uh, they want to make in investments in Idaho in brick and mortar. And in doing that, actually, we're starting to get to a lot of our money back. When I became Lieutenant Governor, total international sales was $700 million. Today it's over $4 billion. Well, we, we've invested in the trade missions. Our company, Premier Technology, we're, we're really a large service provider that does the engineering, design, manufacturing, field construction, and field direction of, of large industrial and, and commercial projects. And it's, I think it's the foresight of our Governor Bush that uh, he's created an opportunity for us to penetrate those markets in a timely fashion and early enough that we'll be successful, and not just for companies like ours, but for all products that are produced in Idaho. We have approximately 350 employees at our company, and we have uh, uh, a capacity to grow uh, that by probably double. We need a seasoned hand. We need a professional. And I've witnessed him connect the dots, connect two different companies together, one that had a need and one that had a supply or a service, and he's a master of that. Let me, let me give you just one idea that, that we suggested to them, was that they should come over with an investment and build some grain silos and peas and lentil silos on the Port of Lewiston, which can be offloaded on ocean-going barges or ocean-going containers, and then uh, shipped uh, to China or shipped to any other country that they want to spend it to. But the important thing here is in order to fill those silos, they're going to have to pre-season contract with our wheat growers, with our pea and lentil growers. And that's going to give a steady market, a predictable market to our wheat growers, to our pea and uh, lentil growers, uh, especially up in the Palouse country of Idaho. And sure, they're making the investment there, but they're wanting to control their own destiny as much as they can. And as long as they build those at the Port of Lewiston, uh, and as long as they use our shipping out of the Port of Lewiston, that makes me very happy because it's going to create a lot of jobs. More importantly, all those jobs will turn into careers.